Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you an online shootout covering the Boston Bruins and how I'm thinking they're going to do this year, as well as talking about their future, how they did last year, and anything else involving the Boston Bruins. Starting off, the Boston Bruins last year finished with 96 points, which was ninth best in the Eastern Conference. They were two points behind the Pittsburgh Penguins for making the playoff. In the offseason, they traded Dougie Hamilton, Lou Cheech, Sodenberg left, and they traded Smith. In return though, from all this with free agents and with trades and all stuff, they gained Hayes, Valeski, Connolly, Irwin, and Ronaldo. Some of these names don't look too great like Ronaldo but and Beleski I feel like he can be a bust his shooting percentage last year was crazy high so in terms of the trade I think Hamilton is by far like one of their best players on their team so losing him for the two draft picks wasn't too great but I mean it, would he have stayed on the team I mean after some of these trades that went through like when they traded Lucic and Sodenberg left they traded Smith you don't know what would have happened but I'm pretty sure Hamilton did not really enjoy staying there and he wanted to leave anyway I think that was probably their worst thing losing Lucic wasn't too bad but I think losing Hamilton was by far their worst they didn't get Get anything back from him. they get prospects and return all the two draft picks that they drafted hamilton top two defensemen it was even getting better really young calgary is lucky they have them looking at their actual prospects now though they have some good ones but i wouldn't say they have anyone like that's unreal i'd say their best prospect is david pasternak which he's been playing in the nhl i believe for one or two years now but i think he can be like a 60 point guy maybe maybe more than that but i think he needs to be on the first line all this stuff some other rookies i have are malcolm suban which to be honest i'm not sure how great he's gonna turn out they have jake debrusque who i think should be pretty good. Ryan Spooner's already playing on the NHL team. He played in the final few, I think it was like 11 or 12 games last year on them. He played pretty well. One guy who I'm not really sure of who they got, who's been taking a while, he's been playing on the AHL team and he's actually been leading them in points for the past two seasons. But Alexander Koklachev, he he made some comments recently also saying that he said, why, like, what do I have to do? Like, I'm not going to want to stay on the Bruins if they're never going to let me on their team because he's been in the AHL for two years and he thinks, he said that he's not a kid no more, even though he's 22 years old. So he's a little bit, he's iffy because on the AHL, he's leading in points but not by too much and when he did come up and play in the NHL he didn't do too much so he's a little bit iffy and then last but not least they have Jacob Zaborl I'm not sure if I said that properly but I'm not really sure about him besides that their prospect pool doesn't look too great they were always built on like an older team but they had Hamilton Krug stuff like that some guys coming up they lost Hamilton now they lost Smith and they lost Sodenberg, so those are all pretty young guys. So last year, they didn't make the playoffs, which is like a first time for them in a while. I thought everyone was going to go. I mean, they did lose Hamilton and Lucic, but they still have some pretty good players on their team. One player who's probably has one, maybe two years, maybe two years, is Adano Char. He's been their captain for a while. He's been the face of the franchise, basically, and he's probably going to be retiring in one or two years, or at least not too great in one or two years. I'm not sure how old he's going to play till. You don't know. He played a 45. They have Raskinet, who's going to be like a top 10 goal in the league by far, so they have a great goal in that the defense in my opinion is it's iffy they've got krug they've got chara Irwin. i mean that's about it then their other three aren't too great so their defense is like i'd say average maybe even a bit below average because chara is not too great anymore and then their offense is they've got some pretty good guys they don't have any more top guys in my opinion they got bergeron and i guess create cheese pretty good and Belelski could be Belelski. um he could be I, I don't i just don't see him getting like 25 30 goals this year i see him like a 15 20 goal guy at most and Connolly could be all right. Ronaldo, maybe five goals he chips in. Hayes, he can get 20 goals. But again, I don't see their team as like a dynamic for forward. So I don't think they're going to be, I think they definitely got worse from last year because some of their players, like Hamilton, you just can't replace that, especially they actually didn't replace it. They didn't get anyone in return for him. I guess Irwin's their new defenseman for like to take his spot over, but Irwin's not a, he's not a Hamilton or he's never going to be a Hamilton. He's already in his like prime. But anyway, where I see them finishing this year, I see the Boston Bruins finishing not in a playoff spot, but not at the bottom. I see them finishing around 20 to 18th position maybe to, i'll say 18 to 22 that's where they're going to finish so like just below the playoffs but not like the last seed like two or three spots below like a playoff spot that's my prediction i'm saying they're going to get like 91 89 points something like that and they're going to finish like 11th or 12th in the east or basically in the whole entire division 18th to 22nd overall where do you guys think the bruins are going to finish off also what do you think about the prospects who do you think is going to be the best one and where do you think the bruins are going to finish off if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i will see you guys next time Back to my voice. People always ask how I got my nice name, take my crown.